What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs with another recent cracks video. Um, I did get a couple. I did get one thing in the mail, and I found one thing today, but I incorporated it into right into this recent cracks video. So we'll go over all that together since it wasn't a lot of stuff. Um, I did pick up a couple other cars at a dollar store near where my cabin is going to be that are actually still a dollar and become a dollar 25 store so it's just a jeep cherokee and a volkswagen baja bug grabbed them before i wouldn't be able to find them no more for customs and i did get a five pack out there i paid like six bucks instead of five but i don't care at least i found it so we'll go over all that it's going to be mostly matchbox i have an auto world and a mini gt at the end so we'll get rocking and rolling here with this um alfa romeo which is pretty sweet I believe I found this at a dollar store too. Or did Sammy send me this one? I can't remember. Sammy might have sent me this one. I don't remember this one. But, um, yeah, dollar store is starting to load up with Matchbox, but it's all old stuff for the most part. And starting to see some Hot Wheels at the, hot, the dollar stores too, but they're old cases. Uh, H case, a lot of H case in the dollar stores, and damn J case again at Walmart by me. I don't ever want to give up on that J case. I'm sick of seeing it. But nothing new around here. But that's all right. So this car is really sweet. Um, match, it's awesome matchbox. Typical awesome matchbox job. Full tampo. Those beautiful rims on there. Beautiful metallic blue paint. Love it. Couldn't pass it up. To go in the Alfa Romeo collection. It's just a gorgeous matchbox car. That's why I really want to find some new matchbox. Even more in Hot Wheels. I love the matchbox cars. I don't love them all, but I love ones I want. I really want to get because they look really cool. They do such a great job. This is such a beautiful car for a dollar. You can't beat it. So that'll be the first one. I'm sure you guys have seen all these, but. We'll go through them quick. Next up is this BMW 3 Series Touring Wagon. This thing is sweet. This thing's really awesome looking. This is way better out of the blister. I didn't think it was this nice looking. Love it. Love the wheels. There's another one. Full tampo work on it. Beautiful black metallic paint. Looks great. Got the sunroof there going on. The black interior is a beautiful car. For a buck. Unbelievable. What Matchbox does. And BMW for the collection. And a good one at that. Really nice one. Beautiful job. You can take a look at some of that interior. I mean, I don't know detail, but it's a nice interior. Very nicely done. That paint is sweet. Beautiful matchbox. And this one I really wanted that Sammy sent me. He sent me that BMW too. This 66 Dodge Charger. Love it. This is one of the ones I've really been wanting to find. This thing looks sweet. Beautiful orange metallic paint. That rear deco looks awesome. Great looking car. Glad I finally got this one. Haven't been able to find it. She's a beauty. And a Nissan 350Z. I did actually see a couple of these in a Dollar Tree. There's probably like three or four of them on the pegs. I didn't grab any more. Now in hindsight, I should have grabbed one and do a custom on maybe. But I'm sure they'll still be there. This would be a cool car to do a deco in. Maybe like an ad van livery if something looks sweet on this car. They did a good job on this one, too. No no deco was on the front and back, which is disappointing, but the sides look pretty cool. And the back is just about done on the taillights. 
but I like it. There's another one Sammy sent me. <clears throat> but beautiful car. Really nice. So next is one of the five packs I found today. Um, is the Coffee Cruisers 2. But I can't really get in there and show it to you with the way it's set up right now. So I'm sure you've seen it. It's Matchbox Coffee Cruisers 2. I've been wanting this one because it has a lot of castings I collect. Almost all of them except for the one. Um, we'll start off with this Dodge D200. This is a casting I do collect for Matchbox. I love this one with the Matchbox livery on it. I think that looks great. Love it. Oh, roller. Awesome truck. I love this truck. Love the stance, how big it is. Four doors look sweet. Really cool looking. That was one of them out of the five pack that I do collect. This was another one I definitely collect. I absolutely love this casting, the 35 Ford. This green looks awesome. What a beautiful color. And the gold, great looking. Don't need to do anything to this car. I'm just going to leave it exactly the way it is. I love it. I love the different wheels on it. Maybe add some deco on the back, but that's about it. But I love this casting. <clears throat> this one's a beauty. Show you that green paint. Beautiful. I think that says Coffee Cruisers on it. Yep. Awesome. Love it. Great looking casting. And this one here, I believe, is the only casting I have. So I'll check my Corvette collection. But I don't think I have another Matchbox Corvette like that. I'm going to have to check. But this is sweet. The paint is awesome on it. It's not even like a texture on it. This gold paint, the red wheels and the flames, I love it. The brown interior. This is a nice casting. Nice looking vet. It's definitely a really good five pack. Really nice casting. And another one that I collect. absolutely love this casting too. The 75 Chevy Caprice. I believe I have three other variations of this. <clears throat> I love this car. What an awesome looking car. This color is great. Disc wheels on it. Black interior. Nice chrome bumpers. The chrome lip on the bottom looks great. Love it. Yeah, definitely a beautiful car. Love it. And the last one, the five pack that I don't care about at all this mini cooper i don't like these cars but it's in there so we'll show it just not into it not my thing but if it is your thing it's a cool looking one it's got front deco on it. it's got the black roof i believe it has a red interior it does so that's pretty cool looking but i'm not into mini coopers at all But definitely a strong five pack.
by Matchbox. And dig into another five pack by Matchbox. Um, this one I showed the other day. That um, one with all the police cars and everything. I forgot what it's called. Um, service. MBX Service. So this one is the news van, which I absolutely love. This is my first news van. All El, Se El Segunda liveries on these. This is local news with the pop-up radar that goes up and down on the top. I believe this is that Nissan van. I love this van. It's a great van. I like collecting this van. I'm pretty sure it's the Nissan one. I don't know if it tells you on the bottom of this one. Oh, it's the Ford one. That's right, the Ford Transit. I love this one, too. I love the Nissan one, too, that um, Matchbox does. Looks similar to this. This is awesome. This is what made me want to get this 5-pack was this van. I thought it was cool looking. And they have this animal control one, Ford F-150. It's all right. It's the weakest one out of the pack to me. Doesn't have much deco work done on it. Looks kind of just white and blah. I don't know why they didn't do this. Finish the sides. Or if you're not going to finish sides, do the back or the front. Yeah, it just looks you know, blah. Not my favorite for sure. But. It's not too bad. Okay, next up we got the International Ambulance. The metal base, plastic body. Deco work on the sides. Love my ambulances, especially for Matchbox. <sighs> El Segunda again on there, fire and EMS. <clears throat> nice looking ambulance. And it's all plastic, but it is what it is. That's what they are now, so on these ambulances. So what can you do about it? I'm gonna still collect them. Pretty cool variation of that ambulance. Next up, we got the Dodge Ram 2015. And the El Police Livery. This thing's badass looking, too. That big bumper in the front looks great. A little mess up on the tampa work there on the bottom. The paint, the white paint's coming off, but it's all right. Got the blue windshield for the blue lights on the top. Nice casting. I like it. And the last one out of that five pack is the Ford Interceptor Utility, which is another casting I do collect. El Segunda. Lease livery black. Looks awesome. I still don't have my new camera stand tomorrow. It comes here, thank God. And I got this thing propped up in a garbage can trying to stand up. But it's doing a job for now. This thing's awesome looking. I really like this. Love these utility ones. And then next up, we got some Auto World. So this is that Auto World 2-pack. Um, a little disappointed in it. I didn't know they came with plastic wheels. But the Auto Worlds would come with rubber wheels. And it's got the plastic base on it. So, I don't know. I guess it's comparable to an M2 Auto Driver. That's plastic base. It has rubber wheels on it. I don't see it being worth over 10 bucks for the 2-pack. Uh, I probably won't get any more. 
They just don't seem worth it to me. They seem a little cheap for Auto World to me, in my opinion. Um, yeah, well, this is the Cougar. The wheels do look nice, but I mean, they're plastic. They didn't do a good job on the taillight detail either. I mean, there's red back there, but not a strong red. It's like very faded, like a wash almost. Um, there's a mark on the roof, on the hood, but otherwise, it's <sighs> pretty good shape. Color's awesome. This is the Mercury Cougar, 67, I believe. <clears throat> Which is awesome looking. I just wish they would have put rubber wheels. I don't know why they didn't. Wasn't expecting that to be plastic wheels. I might have seen that in the video and just didn't pay attention. I don't know. Next up, we got the Mustang. I forgot what year it is. I threw the package out already. I probably won't be able to read it on here. I believe it's a 90-something, 90 95 or something. I don't know. But she's sweet looking. That's for sure. It's got a little bit of a lean. And the one tire's got a scuff all the way around it. I believe it's on the other side. The front one there has got white all the way around it. I have to try and get off. Well, I mean, it's still nice. It definitely has a lean. Looking casting. Not worth over 10 bucks, though. Not my opinion for these two. I don't think so. That's all right. And then lastly, I finally got this one. Mini GT Land Rover Defender 110. I ordered this from AliExpress. Got this for a very good price. This is a China exclusive 110 Defender I always wanted to get. It was very expensive. I got this really good. And this thing's awesome. And that shell delivery I love. Very happy to get this one finally. Yeah, definitely by far my favorite 110 Defender now. Mini GT is a shell one. I love it. AliExpress, guys, got a lot of stuff. I ordered a bunch of wheels from there. Um, I mean, the shipping takes a long time. It's coming from China and everything, but I only paid 2 or three, two dollars something a set of wheels. Hopefully, they all, they're all good. They look good. So we'll see. I got them coming in. I got some XRT. XRT, I think, toys it's called. Coming in from there. So you can wait for the shipping. It was all free shipping on all the ones I picked. So this was free shipping as well. This thing is beautiful. I'm so glad I got this one. So that'll do it for me for this episode of Recent Cracks video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks again for all the comments and likes. I really appreciate it. Been missing some comments. Some are just popping up. I don't know if it's something going on with YouTube or something. So I try and go through. Like today, I went through all older videos, but uh, some just pop up. Out of nowhere that are old. I don't know. Once in a while. Some I don't see for some reason. But I answer every single one I get. I try to. So thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you guys like the videos. Uh, I'm just trying to start to do something new, maybe. Um, starting Monday, I want to do like mainline Mondays and just do mainline Hot Wheels and Matchbox and maybe pick a case. Trying to organize all my cases and do maybe like a Chevy Chevelle case one day or a Ford Torino case another episode and go through and show you all the different variations as I sort them out. And I thought it would be a cool video to do on Mondays. Um, I was thinking about a free it Friday video, but I free them every day, so I don't know. We'll see. Do some different stuff. Well, thanks again, guys. Um, take care. And you all have a great night.